Hello everyone, and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to Young and the Restless teasers, Claire Grace is going to get a unique gift that will make her feel welcome, at least initially. Victoria Newman will be hoping that Claire's other family will welcome and love her, because she wants Claire to feel like a true Newman above all else. Victoria will undoubtedly be optimistic, as some Newman family members get together for dinner at the GCAC. Things are going very nicely. As Claire gets to know everyone a little better, it appears that a small breakfast party may come together. When Summer Newman ultimately learns more about what transpired at the lake house, she should be concerned about Claire, but Victor Newman would advise her to give Claire an opportunity to show that she has changed. As Claire's father, Cole Howard, J. Eddie Peck, will be present at the event and will take advantage of the chance to strengthen his relationship with his daughter and get to know Victoria. The Newman family celebrations will also feature Abby Newman Abbott, so it will be interesting to see if Nick Newman, Joshua Morrow, and Nikki Newman attend. When Adam finally turns up and expresses his opinions, though, it will be him who threatens to destroy the celebration. Adam might choose to ruin things by making a big deal out of Claire's mental health problems and the control Jordan formerly held over her. Put another way, Adam might act as though Claire is an insane person who shouldn't be trusted and express concern that the other Newmans are welcoming a fox into the henhouse. From Adam's vantage point, Claire might still be dangerous. Fans of Y and R can anticipate additional confrontations between Adam and Claire from March 18 to 22. This suggests that the program may be building to a heated rivalry. That Victoria's daughter is beginning to feel the same contempt her mother does for Adam is actually pretty apt. Stay tuned for more predictions on their dispute as the young and the restless spoilers indicate that Adam will cause some issues during Claire's quest to integrate into the Newman household. According to Young and the Restless previews for Tuesday, March 19, Nikki Newman, Victoria Newman, and Claire Grace will all visit Jordan, who will be distraught to find she won't be saved. Instead, Nikki will take advantage of the opportunity to enjoy the limelight alongside Claire and Victoria. Jordan's response will be that Claire, like Adam Newman, will always be a stranger and that she will haunt the Newman family. Jordan would think that since Claire might lose it and turn against her too, Victoria should go to sleep with one eye open. Nikki will receive criticism for her problems with sobriety and the death of Seth Morgan, but she won't back down and will insist that Jordan go back to jail. Jordan, on the other hand, is going to surprise Nikki, Claire, and Victoria by pulling out a vial of poison that she had hidden under the nearby mattress. When she admits that her original plan was to bring Nikki and Victor Newman there and send them out together, Jordan will see this as her way out. Jordan will swallow the poison and pretend he's been offended by Claire's lack of closing remarks. Jordan falls visibly onto the mattress, and Claire will ask what to do. Nikki will contend that neither Victoria nor they were aware of the poisoning or that they forced Jordan to take it. Victoria would counter that maybe they should help Jordan. However, Victoria will still make the argument that Jordan did this in order to avoid punishment, raising doubts about whether this is really what they want. After thinking on everything that Jordan has done for them and stolen from them, Claire will wonder if he deserves to live or die. Such a bold move will not sit well with Nick Newman, who will be hearing at the Newman Ranch about Nikki, Victoria, and Claire taking on Jordan as a group. Even though Victor wasn't thrilled about it either, he will convince Nick that everything with Jordan is under control and being taken care of. Victor decides that Summer Newman, who is a member of the Newman family, should be given the complete truth when she arrives with questions about Claire. When Summer finds out that Claire is helping Jordan track down the Newmans, she will go bonkers and wonder why Claire isn't in jail. 
Victor explains that Michael Baldwin arranged for Claire to undergo mental health care instead, and Summer will discover that part of Claire's most recent hospital stay involved time spent in the psych ward. Victor will fight for Claire's approval and assistance now that her recovery has advanced significantly. His new grandchild is named Claire. Summer will keep asking Nick about his feelings and voicing her displeasure. Nick admits that the events at the lake home haven't been easy for him to move behind, especially since Claire played a big part in Nikki's decision to end her sobriety. Until she comes home and meets Kyle Abbott, Summer will insist that it would be a horrible mistake for Claire to care for Harrison Abbott, or even just spend time with him alone. Summer clarifies that Claire's emotional and psychological instability is a result of Kyle's interrogation. After everything that Claire has been through and everything that she is capable of, Summer is going to have a hard time believing that Claire would be accepted into the family. On Tuesday's edition of Y&R, Chelsea Lawson will speak with Dr. Alcott regarding her attempt to end her life. She worries that Connor Newman would attempt something like prior to getting help. Still, Dr. Alcott will continue to be upbeat and tell Chelsea that her understanding of mental health concerns is a strength rather than a weakness. Dr. Alcott will therefore believe that Connor's residential ERP therapy is the best choice and that a decision must be made immediately. Connor refuses to allow Adam to open his backpack at school as his father did it improperly. Connor will also add that he moved to a new room due to an awful experience in the previous one. When Connor states he doesn't want to be there, Adam will question what he means. Connor will insistently say he hates his school and doesn't want to go to a hospital for specialists. Adam will tell his child that if Connor begins begging, he can go back home. When Connor, Adam, and Chelsea eventually make their way back to Genoa City, their first stop will be Crimson Lights. Chelsea will not want to wait any longer, but Adam will think that they might talk about the residential treatment on the patio. Since Adam said Connor wasn't required to go, Connor will undoubtedly become agitated and express his distaste for going. The young and the restless spoilers suggest that Adam and Chelsea will find it difficult to handle things as co-parents, so check back for more predictions on their family dilemma. Having stated that, Dr. Alcott will think that Connor's residential ERP therapy is the greatest option and that a decision needs to be made right now. Connor will not let Adam to unpack his backpack at school because his father would not do it correctly. Additionally, Connor will clarify that he switched to a different room because the last one was unfortunate. Adam will wonder what Connor means when he says he doesn't want to be there. Connor will adamantly state that he despises his school and is opposed to being admitted to a specialized hospital. Adam will reassure his kid that Connor can return home if he starts pleading. Crimson Lights will be the first destination for Connor, Adam, and Chelsea when they return to Geno City, which won't be long. Adam will believe that they may discuss the residential treatment on the terrace, but Chelsea won't want to wait any longer. Adam stated Connor didn't have to go, therefore Connor will probably be irritated and point out that he doesn't want to go. Keep checking back for more predictions on Adam and Chelsea's family crisis as the young and the restless spoilers indicate they will struggle to manage things as co-parents. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.